Well, good morning everyone. We are in Montenegro. I want to see how this place looks. Wow. It's my first look right now. Kind of like in the big uh, cove here, I believe it is. There's more, I think, on the other side. What a gorgeous port, huh? And of course, this is a tender port, but look at the water. It's like glass. All right, everyone. Well, let's uh, get something in my eye here. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, good morning. We're here in uh, Montenegro today. So, I think uh, my friends and I are going to walk around. Uh, I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but right now I think I'm going to go eat some breakfast and catch up with the friends, and then we'll uh, get out of here. So, I hope you enjoy uh, today's. So, here we are in the uh, fjord here in Coder. The church there, way up on the hill. Over there's the Norwegian Jade who just passed us right by and went all the way down into the thing there. I think we're bigger so maybe we can't go too much further. There's another shot here. Just got done cleaning all the donkey crap off the uh, shoes here from Santorini. And then we're going to get out of here and go check out uh, Montenegro. Do I have everything I want? I think so. Alright, let's grab my key and get out. What's your step? Thanks, I must ask so you start walking back through, please. Alright, here we are on beautiful Coder. Alright, so they do have uh, cute girls selling tickets for their bus tours. It's 20 euros here on Coder with uh, four stops and that kind of stuff. So I think I'm going to walk around a bit first and then uh, we'll decide if I want to do the bus tour. Alright, more uh, cute tour, tour girls. They spell tobacco, T-A-B-A-C-C-O here. And I believe this is the uh, gate into the old town. Looks like they're having the uh, art festival here now. Shops in here. Pretty looking area. And they got some kids practicing some uh, ballet dances or whatnot. Well, it's 10 a.m. Even though my phone says it's 11, I didn't change the time. So I'm sitting here working on uh, emails and Facebook photo uploads for you guys. And in time here, there's nothing. There's a cute one there. Just walking through the old little streets here. Big mountain up there. Old buildings. I just came in from that way, and of course you see a beautiful square here. Big church. And mountains all behind, of course. So maybe I can get up there to the top of the hill, I'm not sure. I'm sure that will take a while. I should find a water somewhere, huh? We walk down from that way. We have cats here in Montenegro as well. And it says, this is a private sign, do not read it. There's a cool little alley there. I'm going to another square with a big church. There's another place. Dang, a big church there, huh? Uh, it's hard to get a water here in Kutter, but I finally got one at this place. Souvenir shop. 
So let's try and find our way up to the uh, mountain. Yeah. Walk up into another cool little square and area here. Let's go inside here and see. This door. I'm out of that way. Some eyeballs there staring at me. Just a little. See, this is nicer to look walking than walking. We're coming across the bridge here. We're going. Oh, it's a little bit of you. Right, now we'll come back in and we'll start making our way up the hill here for a big hike. Alright, so we're going to pop a uh, left turn here, entrance to the fortress. It's getting steep. All right, so right here at the beginning of the hill, it costs uh, three euros to come in. I already paid my ticket. And off we go. It's a 45-minute hike up to the top. And they say the record is 11 minutes, but I don't think I'll make it. Let's check the time now. It's uh, 10.41. All right, let's rock and roll. First little switch back here. I think I should start actually a little easier so I can uh, get things rocking here. So I'm already huffing and puffing after three switchbacks. Gorgeous view though, of course. Right up. Oh. What's the price for water here? 10 euros? No? He didn't answer. Just making jokes. Once you get up there, they start raising the price. There's a shrine in case you uh, die on the way up. You can say your last prayers there. A long ass flight here and everyone going slow. Getting up there. Yeah. Oh, the price of water goes up here, huh? 1.5 euros. So there's my friends down below, and they must have started half an hour before me, and I'm almost at the top right now. I right, guys, I think I'm almost there. Oh. Alright guys, I made it to the top in 22 minutes. Not bad. Thought I'd do it in 20, but uh, a bit slow. This is cool. And all the way uh, up into the end of the fjord here. So, 22 minutes, that's today's record. I don't think anyone's gonna beat it today. So that's your time to beat if you come here to Koder. Gotta make it all the way to the top level here. Not the flag, that one there. 
Alright, so that's it for the top here. Now we're going to uh, get back down and I think my ass is going to hurt tomorrow. Right, down we go. So this is about level, and that's how it looks like going down here. All the way down to the bottom, huh? Yeah, look at me guys, I'm flying down this hill. I guess I'm about halfway now. Yeah, let's keep flying. Oh, we're getting down into the tree line here, we got a traffic jam. You can see that. My friends, I must have stayed up there for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to beat them down to the bottom too. Oh, 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 look who's the winner, guys. <laughs> look who's the winner, baby. Hey, break it to Hey, Pajalst, excuse me. We're going on the right. Okay, if you're not there, you're not there. I told you, man. I passed you twice. Twice I passed you. Alright guys, the time to beat today is 22 minutes. 22 minutes to the top guys, that's the time to beat. Alright, I made it so my legs are shaking now. <laughs> Going down is pretty tough too. I got a fountain there, I'm going to take a bath here. I will, I know. Oh, sorry. That's it for the shower time, and now everyone's yeah. copying. Gotta find my friends. I think they went here to the left. They're getting ice cream. And we got another cat. So that's it for the mountain. We're gonna go find the beach that they saw. Jack Daniel's car there. Well, we finally made it down to the beach from the uh, hike of all hikes there to the top of that castle. Kind of a rocky beach, but uh, a good place to hang out afterwards. I don't know how cold the water is, but uh, I'm gonna jump in. I don't care at this point. Montenegro police truck, Land Rover Defender. I hear one of the uh, fortress walls. I'm at the stand here. We're ordering a uh, three euro strawberry and pineapple smoothie. All right, thank you. Small for three euros. I'm trying to find my friends here. I don't know where they went.
So we came from that way and we got some more light here on the uh, gate here into the old town. So maybe I'll show that to you again. Of course they got the uh, large bench here where everyone is taking pictures. Right, now that thing actually looks pretty good. Different light on. Here are my friends over there. I got a drone flying up. It's another pretty little square here in Coder, and look at this, all the way up the stairs, and got a bell tower up here as well. So just out of the little area where we're in, kind of walk through this little cool looking medieval fortress deal. Let's see all the way up there. All right down at the water here too. Fish. This is cool. Almost want to jump off into the water there. So we're walking back from that area, we come by the farmer's market. Look at this, they got bees and wasps on these fruits, wherever they are. And strawberries here. And a little bit further down, they got fox skins here as well. Put the claws still on. So I just bought a little red patch in here and in Montenegro they don't put glue on the patches so I'm going to have to sew the whole thing on. Luckily I have a sewing kit with me. And so I'm getting tired now so why don't we uh, go back to the ship and grab uh, some lunch here and get out of here. It's a nice town though. Oh, I got this short idiot here. He smashed all the uh, little vases that were there and then he slaps the kid in the face, huh? We got a huge line here. Actually, we're just waiting here for the tender, and it looks like we got a uh, film crew going on. It looks like the uh, the Shah's the sunset or something here. Stars on the so not with us. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so after this uh, huge lineup, I get to go into the uh, special boat here. Whoop! Just kidding. So we're gonna hang out here in the back corner. I think is the best place to be to see the view. I've made it back to the uh, ship finally. It's around uh, 3 o'clock or so in the afternoon in beautiful Coder. And I mean that, it was beautiful. But you do pay a price here in Coder. Look at that, I totally ripped uh, the tread off my shoes. Uh, I think they might have some shoe glue on board. I bet you the uh, engineering team might be able to fix that for me. I've heard of people being able to fix it uh, before. So 
It's not free, but uh, it was fun, it was beautiful, it was worth it to do the hike up to the top. My uh, legs don't feel uh, too uh, nasty right now from that, so I'm happy. And uh, just give you another quick shot here. The beautiful fjords here into Coder and Montenegro. So unusually I'm going to uh, end the vlog here while it's still uh, light out. Ending the vlog so early, but I'm tired. I'm just going to relax on the cruise tonight. Probably won't take any video. And uh, so if you haven't already, please uh, make sure to like the video. Uh, share it to your friends on your own social media, Facebook, etc. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am on a five-week European trip. Uh, so make sure you have a look at my vlogs playlist. Uh, so you can see everything that I'm doing here on the trip. Uh, also check, uh, just check out my name on Facebook, Mike Lukens, you can follow my photo albums there. And also a high res photo album on the Affluent Journeys uh, Facebook page as well. And as you can see right now I'm on the Royal Princess, so if that's of interest to you, uh, make sure to check out my uh, Royal Princess full ship tour uh, in my cruise tours playlist. At well I've made it back to the uh, ship finally, it's around uh, 3 o'clock or so in the afternoon in beautiful coder. And I mean that, it was beautiful, but you do pay a price here in Coder. Look at that, I totally ripped uh, the tread off my shoes. Uh, I think they might have some shoe glue on board. I bet you the uh, engineering team might be able to fix that for me. I've heard of people being able to fix it uh, before. So it's not free, but uh, it was fun, it was beautiful. It was worth it to do the hike up to the top. My uh, legs don't feel uh, too uh, nasty right now from that, so I'm happy. And uh, just give you another quick shot here. The beautiful fjords here into Coder and Montenegro. So unusually I'm going to uh, end the vlog here while it's still uh, light out. Ending the vlog so early, but I'm tired. I'm just going to relax on the cruise tonight. Probably won't take any video. And uh, so if you haven't already, please uh, make sure to like the video. Uh, share it to your friends on your own social media, Facebook, etc. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am on a five-week European trip. Uh, so make sure you have a look at my vlogs playlist. Uh, so you can see everything that I'm doing here on the trip. Uh, also check, uh, just check out my name on Facebook, Mike Lukens. You can follow my photo albums there. And also a high-res photo album on the Affluent Journeys uh, Facebook page as well. And as you can see right now, I'm on the Royal Princess. So if that's of interest to you, uh, make sure to check out my uh, Royal Princess full ship tour uh, in my cruise tours playlist as well. So thanks again, and uh, keep in touch for the next one. So thanks again, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. That was interesting. Here we go again, play more music for the uh, people at the lighthouse. <laughs>